Hey, what's up guys? So I've had the Nest Wi-Fi router for about three months or so and I wanted to do a review on it and I also wanted to go over the different configurations that it could support. So starting off, this is the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. This is the part where it connects straight to the internet, the cable modem or DSL or whatever. And this side of the Ethernet goes to your switch or directly to your computer or this could go to another Nest Wi-Fi router. If this does go to another Nest Wi-Fi router, the second router that it's going to has to come in and connect to the globe again. So just a heads up. This is the Nest Wi-Fi point. This doesn't have any Ethernet connections whatsoever. All this needs is this power cable. The same power cable that you would use for the Google Wi-Fi router. So, this also has Google Home built in, which you could also optionally turn off by... So this is on. If you see the orange, that means it's off. And when it's off, when you turn on this unit, it tells you that the Google Home microphone is off. So if you want it to work, obviously you need to turn it on. And the speaker on this is decent. It's, it's not bad. Now, I wanted to kind of talk about the differences between the Nest Wi-Fi router and the Nest Wi-Fi point. Okay, so there are four different connection configurations you can have with the Nest Wi-Fi router. So essentially, option one, have Nest Wi-Fi router by itself. Option two, Nest Wi-Fi router and one or more Nest Wi-Fi points. Option three, two or more Nest Wi-Fi routers connected to each other through Ethernet. Option four, two or more Nest Wi-Fi routers connected to each other wirelessly. The secondary Nest Wi-Fi routers acting just like Wi-Fi points, essentially. Now, the reason why I say that is because depending on your needs, obviously if you just need one Nest Wi-Fi router, you're done, it's easy. But if you need additional Wi-Fi points or additional Wi-Fi routers, I just wanna explain the difference uh, because I didn't know this when I was getting it. But essentially, my internet is 400 megabits per second download and 20 megabits per second upload. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because when I connect, when I take my laptop and wirelessly, keyword wirelessly, connect to the Wi-Fi router, when I do a speed test, I'm getting around 460 megabits per second download and around 20, 25 megabits per second upload. Now, I get a little more than the ISP. The ISP underrates it a little bit. But when I take that same laptop and I connect it to a Nest Wi-Fi point by going to the other room, when I do a speed test, and yes, I've verified I'm connected to the Wi-Fi point, when I do a speed test, I only get around 170 megabits per second download and around 15 megabits per second upload. So it's literally like less than half the speed that I get with the same device connected to the router as I did with the Wi-Fi point. So essentially, I talked to Google's tech support three different times and yes, I did a mesh test and yes, it has a great connection. Uh, and I even let them remotely come in and basically uh, grab some uh, data off that and read that and all that other stuff and finally the third guy I talked to he said yeah it's not gonna get much better than that and so then I kind of moved it around um, and the best place I got it was around 220 megabits per second download if you have faster internet if your internet is faster than 200 megabits per second download and you do want to get that full speed the only way to get it with the Nest Wi-Fi router itself is if you get two or more Nest Wi-Fi routers, uh, assuming uh, you needed two or more, is through an Ethernet connection. You're not going to get that with the Wi-Fi point. Now, this is obviously very convenient because you don't need an Ethernet connection. You just plug this into the wall with this power cable and you're done. A few bad things about the Google Nest Wi-Fi that really aren't bad because I knew about them buying the device but you almost, you almost need a switch because there's literally one ethernet connection coming out of this thing. So if you have multiple devices, you literally need a switch. So that's one bad thing. But again, I'm not gonna dock the NAS Wi-Fi because I knew that getting this device, but like the Netgear Orbion stuff, they have, I think they have like four outputs. So you may get away with not getting a switch. At least it's definitely easier. 
The other thing that I'm not going to dock Nest Wi-Fi because I knew about this, but because this is such a new device, honestly, I was expecting it to have that new Wi-Fi 6 standard or the wireless AX standard, um, but it doesn't have that. It's wireless AC. Now, granted, it's a mesh system and it works well, and most of my, all of my devices uh, are wireless AC or below. Now, as far as interface and stuff, you set up everything on your phone uh, through the Google Home app or through the Google Wi-Fi app. You could do a mesh test, you could do a speed test, you could make a new SSID, a new guest SSID, which I did. You could see whoever's connected live. Um, you could do a lot of things. You could give priority and stuff uh, to certain devices. You can rename certain devices in this thing, especially when guests are coming over and stuff. I just give them the guest uh, password. So if I forget it, I just click show password on my phone because I usually have my phone with me. So it's very convenient that it's there so and you also get automatic updates and everything so it, like you're good to go it even has WPA3 support which Google doesn't recommend you turn on because it may not work with older devices so I, I'm still on the WPA2 but it does have WPA3 please like and subscribe I also want to thank all my current subscribers I appreciate all the support um, and if you're not a current subscriber please hit that subscribe button and become a current subscriber and as always, if you guys have questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section below and I try my very best to get to each comment. Uh, thank you guys for watching.